What's up, family? It's your girl, D-Ray, the Divine Relationship Alchemist, helping you heal your relationship with self to heal your relationship with others. It is Wednesday. It is Subconscious Mind Reprogramming Wednesday, right? And today we're going to talk about cutting cords or soul ties um, through the heart chakra by way of visualization, right? Like, we have to love ourselves enough to cut off, to transform some of these energetic connections we have made to other people. Now, first to start this up, soul ties um, or cords are, like I just said, energetic connections that we've made to other people. Now, it does not always have to just be sexual, but you have a tie, a connection to any and everybody that you've ever interacted with. Some of those connections are deeper um, than others and others are more shallow all right some of those connections have an effect on you today other ones have been left off gone to the wayside right i want to talk about the connections that we've made with that obviously our family members some of the people that we may have dated or been with intimately and then our best friends our close friends right and so some of these connections that we have made with other people are what is exactly holding us back from us being renewed and us being our best selves, right? We're still holding on to uh, some of the fear, some of the shame, some of the guilt, some of the disappointment that we have um, acquired in our engagement with those people, all right? Like in your conscious mind, you may think, oh, I'm over it or whatever the situation may be, but you may still be behaving from some of the traumatic experiences you've had in those relationships, right? So in order for us to reprogram, in order for us to be transformed, in order for us to be renewed, sometimes we have to cut those cords. Now, with, with family members, they're your family members, so the connections that you have with them are not completely going to be severed right? That's still your mama regardless, right? But what you can change and what you can disconnect from is some of the toxic behaviors that you have inherited, some of the toxic behaviors that have been uh, imposed upon you by way of the relationship that you have with your people, right? And you have to choose every day that whatever those behaviors were, whatever those low vibrational emotions were that you no longer want to have, that are no longer serving you in this present time, you have to disconnect from those, right? So, and I say through the heart chakra, it is through the heart chakra because you have to love yourself more than maintaining some of those relationships, right? Like we all know there's some friends, there's some people in our lives that we have to let go of. Not because they don't love us, not because we don't love them, but sometimes our growth is uncomfortable for them, all right? And we don't need nobody, you know, going home and thinking negative thoughts about us, even though that's naturally going to happen. But when we got friends and family uh, going home and they and they're thinking crazy thoughts about us that's a problem and so we also have to release the judgment right or the care or the fear of how they are going to respond to the way that we are living our lives when we know when I know I'm living in full alignment I'm living fully in my truth I don't have time to be having anybody you know coming into my sacred space coming into my energetic field, my temple, which is my body, right? My mind, my spirit, my home, you know, and thinking thoughts that are not in alignment with the greatness that I actually am. All right. And so sometimes we have to disconnect those cords and we have to do it through our heart chakra. Right. We do it from a place of love, not a place of malice, not a place of fear, not a place of a place of hurt, disappointment or judgment. We disconnect from a place of love. We love ourselves so much that we do not want to continue having these relationships that are not serving us to our utmost good. Right. We, we do it through the heart chakra because we have to love our children, our offspring, our businesses, our purpose, our passion. We love that more than we care about 
the judgment our mommies and daddies and friends uh, have going on in their minds because they are not living out their purpose because they still care about what other people think. All right. So a way that we can heal this and reprogram our mind and disconnect from caring about what our family members think, from caring about what our quote unquote friends think, from uh, still being affected by the former intimate relationships we've had. A technique that I have been using this week, right, is visualization. So I close my eyes and I see myself uh, engaging with those specific persons or people, right? And in the moment where we're having, I see myself almost going into a moment that is uncomfortable, right? Right? A moment that is lower vibrational. Like, for example, I may see myself, you know, about to have to tell something to my mom that she doesn't like, right? And instead of me going through with that and I'm using that as an example because that's something that I've had to deal with and that is a connection that I have with my mom that now has to be cut I have to be comfortable with telling you whatever is on my heart because I love myself more all right I love myself the most and so I have to be honest and transparent so I visualize myself having to say tell my mom something that is uncomfortable and instead of me being fearful instead of me uh, being uncomfortable with it I go through with it right I do it and I'm successful in doing it so For anybody out there who wants to disconnect from uh, lower vibrational experiences and emotions connected to other people that we deal with, visualize yourself with that person, right? Visualize yourself in a situation that could possibly be uncomfortable, in a situation that could possibly be lower vibration, right? And see yourself overcoming in that situation. See yourself disconnecting and breaking away from the habits or from the things that you've been used to that are no longer serving you in this moment, right? And you do that with you do that with love, you do that with compassion for yourself first. All right? So you want to visualize yourself in an experience with those people who you no longer want to be connected to. And in that visualization, you could also take it a step further and see the cord connected from you to them, right? And I would connect it from the solar plexus, so from your from your stomach. You see the cord connected from you to that person. Now you visualize that cord being cut, that cord being severed completely, all right. If it's somebody that you totally want to release, if it is an experience, if it is energy that you totally want to release from that person, then you totally visualize that cord being completely cut. And then after it's cut, you want to actually visualize that person kind of disappearing into the wind. But if it's like family members, if it's something like that, then you want to visualize you being successful in um, initiating this new state of being, this new relationship, this new energy that you want to have with them. And then you do that as often as you need to until you have fully um, transformed your mind, transform your subconscious mind to this new state of being. All right. So it is possible for us to cut cords by way of love using visualization. All right. Understand that sometimes the relationships that we have with our mothers, our friends, our fathers, our close relatives, those relationships need to change too. There are certain connections, there are certain behaviors, there are certain expectations that we have with our family members and our friends that need to change. And so you can go into visualization and cut those, right? Because what I'm realizing as a spiritual person who is learning herself more and more and more and loving herself more and more and more and and reigning in and honing in on my power within myself with who I am. People don't like when I call myself a goddess. They're like, whoa. And those are the people that need to move around. You just need to. If me being in my power makes you uncomfortable, something needs to change. You don't need to be around me. All right? If you are uncomfortable with sage and all of that, then you probably don't need to be around me. And that's okay. I sever and cut that tie. All right? Because I love me so much. I love who I am right now so much. And the people that are from your past, 
they are uncomfortable with seeing you in this new state of being, this new light, this new power. They want you to stay broke. They want you to stay living in apartments. They want you to stay working a job. They want you to stay where they are comfortable at, right? And that's why you have to choose your friends more wisely. That's why you have to be very specific with what you share with family members and with friends because they'll start sending out negative thoughts because they're uncomfortable. It's their ego. They're like, oh, you just, you glowing up, huh? Yes, I'm glowing up and I ain't stopping. And if you are not ready to go with me on this journey, right? If you are not ready and willing to see the light that is within me, and understand that the light within me is the same light that's within you, that you can have if you want to have it. You can rise up and be who you want to be. If you are not ready to do that, then I'm going to visualize you. I'm going to visualize our relationship. And I'm going to sever those. I'm going to sever those ties. I'm going to sever those cords. Because I'm going somewhere. And you have to do that. You have to release and make space for all the new people who understand who you are right now. Who love you and who are comfortable with who you are right now. Not that old D-Ray, right? Not that person. If you still want that person, it's done. It's over with, all right? And I'm making space for those people who are understanding of who I am right now, who accept who I am right now, because I accept who I am right now, and who want to know more from who I am right now. Cut ties with those things and those people who are no longer serving you. Do it from a place of love. Close your eyes. See it being cut, and it will happen. Peace.